Hey YouTube, what is going on? I'm Kyle Los, and today I'm here with my mom. Hi. And we are gonna be doing my first sneaker only video. Today my mom is going to be reacting to my Yeezy 750s. We're gonna see what she thinks, how much she thinks they're worth, like what she, her personal opinion is about the shoes. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so first off, obviously you have the really big Yeezy 750 box. Go ahead, take it out. Wow. And then here she found the, uh, the two dust bags, the lace bags for the shoes. There's one for each shoe right here for all you receipt hounds. This is the, the receipt is in here. You guys want to see? So today, we got the Yeezy 750 chocolates. The latest Yeezy 750 to release. The cheapest, I guess, but in my opinion, the best looking, by far the best quality. This is the back of the shoe is super, super soft. The suede is super soft. Overall, this is a really, really nice design shoe. Go ahead, you can take it. Wow. Only get the other one out. All right, so right off the bat, what do you think? The design is growing on me. At first, Here, let's pick it up and get these shoes in the frame more. At first, I wasn't sure if I liked the style, but the quality, nice stitching, no glue lines of any kind, beautiful, very soft suede. Oh, How do you keep know. them clean, Kyle, if you were to wear them? I mean, I've worn them, all right, so I've worn these one time so far, and then I use Crep Protect, which is like what everybody uses, and that's like, by far the best. You can just shoot you over and get in the frame a little more. But Crab Protect's by far the best, in my opinion, for cleaning uh, shoes, especially like like different materials with like suede and durable. Obviously, these are like all suede and like a really supple suede. So that's what I usually clean them with. So, all right, so what do you think overall? What do you think what these are worth? Ooh, I have. Um, okay, I've been to the store with you a couple times. 250. Retail? Uh-huh. That's not correct. What do you think resale is on them? Resale? Hmm. Yeah, the aftermarket price. I know. Sorry. <laughs> uh 300? Resale? Yeah. No. Okay, so retail I have no idea. on these is $350. <gasps> oh. Move these a little bit. It's $350. <laughs> oh my goodness. Resale is anywhere from 700 dead stock to close to a thousand i'd say probably 900 it kind of depends if you're buying on a facebook group ebay or if you're buying like a, a consignment shop which is usually the most expensive option i got these on a facebook sneaker group so i didn't pay the 900 i paid about 700 dollars for these brand new and i've worn them one time since these are the cheapest of the 750s most of the 750s brand new go for I can't even tell you more i'm sorry yeah most of that yeah you can't really tell but most of the sneak uh, 750s go for like a grand, over a grand easily, brand new. These ones are the cheapest. A lot of people don't like the, I guess like the chocolate upper, that that brown upper, and I think it looks really nice for the gum nice. sole, and it's really nice on feet. So, nice. would you buy this shoe in your size? Me, no. It's Why just not? Because I think I'm too old to wear something like that. You're too old to wear it. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's actually really funny. <laughs> okay, so overall, do you like the shoe? Yes. You do? Now that I've seen it in person and I've seen the quality, I do. I like it very much. Yeah, because I remember when you first saw the shoes, like pictures and stuff, and I was telling you I was looking to get them, you weren't really excited. You thought they, I don't remember exactly what you said, but you just didn't they like them. They look like moon shoes. Moon shoes. From the 1970s. My, my mom said she thinks <laughs> when she first saw these, they look like moon shoes. And then her exact quote from the 1970s. <laughs> so I, I don't know what the moon shoes look like that she's referring to. But yes. I think that's pretty funny. But I do like them. You do like them? I do. They're nice, yeah. Would you be upset if I bought you a pair in your size? Do they come in pink? No. Okay. Unless you want a fake pair. No. So there's uh, three colorways. No, four colorways. The OG colorway, which is the upper, is all light gray. And then the sole is just white. Oh, that would be nice. That one's the most expensive because it's the very first DZ750 to ever come out. So you're looking at it for a brand new pair, $2,000. Maybe more, just depends where you're looking. There's a lot of used pairs, but they'll still sit in a, a little over a grand. Those ones are the worst quality, because it was like the very first pair to come out, so they're the worst quality. 
the zipper breaks on them a lot okay. and the suede is not that nice like these are the best quality For every single time this shoe has come out in a different colorway they always they seem to up the the quality whether it's the, the type of the, the materials they use like the suede or the zipper like they i know I'm not, i think it was the triple no it was the gray gum so this pair but it's an all gray upper and then the gum sole mm -hmm. they had they, that was when they put the ykk zipper on it okay so it's a better zipper before that i don't even know i think they're just using just like random zippers i have no idea so then they definitely upped the quality so then the second pair to release was the triple black 750 and that's this just blacked out yeah. and i really want that one that's like my second favorite behind this one mm -hmm. that's like probably the next yeezy i'm gonna get or at least 750 wise and then the third one was like i said this exact shoe but it was an all gray upper so it still had that gum sole and then that one the sole glows oh that's cool yeah mm -hmm. and so what a funny thing with this one is that when these came out uh adidas uk i believe tweeted out that some of the pairs do glow their soles do glow in the dark so it's not just like the fake pairs, and a lot of fake pairs glow in the dark because they thought that all the pairs would glow in the dark, but just a certain amount, like a really limited quantity of these glowed in the dark. And I, and I personally believe, I know a lot of other YouTubers and like sneaker people believe that the reason that some of them, only some of them glow in the dark is because that they just used the leftover soles from the, the last release, the gray pair, mm -hmm. and just stuck them on these. And then when they were done, they just used like plain, the, the plain gum sole. Okay. Like I've seen pairs on like, on sneaker group sell for, I mean not sell for, but I've seen a couple pairs for sale where the left it was like the left shoe was the regular sole and then the right shoe was the glow really yeah so that's kind of like a just i guess kind of like a factory defect because not all of them obviously like not all of them have them but then some of them are like mixed and matched so that's pretty cool i need to go get dinner out of the oven okay so i gotta wrap up this video we gotta go eat dinner my mom is kind of like nagging at me wait i have a question everybody what do you think of this hat oh yeah she wants to know what you guys think of my hat it's the uh, from the Atlanta Yeezy pop-up store, the St. Pablo pop-up store. What are your opinions on it, Mom? I think it looks like a penis hat. She thinks it makes my head look like a penis. <laughs> so shout out to my mom for that. <laughs> it's pointy. All right, guys. So that will do it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. There will be plenty of more reaction videos coming up. I have some OVO 10s that I'm going to have my brother's uh, review and react to and then a couple other shoes that I might have my dad react to and then my, you'll see my mom frequently she'll probably be reacting to a bunch of different new sneaker pickups so like I said please like and subscribe if you like this video check out my first two vlogs there will be a lot more coming thank you guys take it easy peace